hello and welcome to day 80 of 90 days of numbers and today we are making a chessboard chessboard for collaboration um, across uh, two different people so that they could play chess across a virtual world and I've also included some drafts in here as well so you can see the first thing that I'm doing is just putting a new slide on and creating a table but I've made it so that the um, cells are even sized squares and then I'm alternating white and black so it looks like a chessboard. So once I've done this for two of the columns, I can then go down to the bottom right and onto cell. And uh, once I've highlighted all these cells and then autofill all the way across, so it just saves me a lot of time. Once I've done that, I just also um, click on the table and add a board around all of the outside of the board so that you've got um, a nice border there. I've copied and pasted some um, of the things that you would need, the counters that you would need for a chessboard, and then I've instant alphaed them using the paintbrush at the top so you don't see the background, the white background. And then I've also gone for the paintbrush and on image I have um, edited the template so that I can only see one of the um, counters for it. So you can see the pawns here and then I've just simply copied and pasted these. And then I've done exactly the same as well with all the other chess pieces. And again, just moved that um, that edit along so that we just get one of the chess pieces and then copied and pasted what I needed. So again, we're just moving around until we see exactly what we need. So that's the chessboard. And then exactly the same for the drafts. Um, I've just done the same, but I've created my own counters for this because I just need circles. So I've um, put one circle on top of the other so that we get the three sort of just a pattern of a draft that you would get um, and then I've given it a border so that it looks exactly what we want it to look like. Um, the really nice thing about this is the ability to use the collaboration tool at the top which is the little person with the plus so once we click on that we can invite people to collaborate on the board with us and normally that means we can add um, people to create with us but what it means in this circumstance is that they can actually play chess with you so as you can see here it will start to collaborate and then each person can move a counter at individual times so this is Finley moving a piece and then I can move the piece and they will see what I do and I can see what they do so you can have your own game of chess and you can put your counters to the right or left hand side um, if you take one of the pieces um, and it's just a really nice way to play something virtually um, especially at the moment when we might not be able to actually go and see people.